In this video, I'm gonna talk about the Day Cream SPF Moisturizing Sunscreen, non-tinted and tinted by Muesli. They are now available from Amazon. If you're looking for good moisturizing sunscreen options, plus a few tips for managing melasma, please keep watching. Hi, welcome to Invest in Your Face. If you are new here, my name is Amy. I'm a registered nurse, and I started this channel to share ways I manage my melasma. If this type of content interests you, please subscribe. Now, when it comes to managing melasma, applying a broad spectrum high SPF sunscreen is the best thing you can do to not only help minimize the number one trigger for melasma, UVA, UVB exposure, but also to help maximize the potential benefits of your current melasma treatment. I currently manage my melasma with the Muesli Face RX Spot Cream. When I started using the Spot Cream, I received the Muesli A Day Cream SPF 50 as part of their auto ship bundle. It came in this small one ounce size, and really it's a great way to give this mineral sunscreen a try. Muesli recommends mineral sunscreen. I prefer mineral over chemical sunscreens, but keep in mind there is nothing wrong with using a chemical or a hybrid sunscreen if that is what works for you and you prefer. But one of the reasons I do like to stick with a mineral sunscreen is that it is less likely to cause irritation. And as you know, uh, products that cause irritation can also trigger your melasma. Now, some of you have shared with me that you don't like mineral sunscreen because the main ingredient, zinc oxide, can be drying. And I can understand that, especially if you're skin you know tends to be dry or when your skincare routine to manage melasma includes prescription ingredients such as retinol and hydroquinone which can commonly cause dry skin and peeling all the more reason to use hydrating and moisturizing products and adding a moisturizing sunscreen is a great way to do that now if a moisturizing sunscreen is enough for you you could even skip your moisturizer step now this is non-tinted and formulated with 7% zinc oxide and 5% titanium dioxide, which are not only the active sunscreen ingredients, but they can also help reduce redness. And the common moisturizing ingredients include dimethicone, glycerin, and sodium hyaluronic acid. Now, Dimethicone is a type of synthetic silicone used as an occlusive agent to help create a barrier that blocks water from escaping the skin. And I know in the past there has been some controversy around dimethicone, but I also know that it has undergone extensive review by scientific experts and authorities, not only here in the US, but also around the world for its safety. There is no scientific data to substantiate the need to avoid this ingredient. It is non-toxic, uh, it is non-comedogenic, and it is light Wait. Now, glycerin is a natural moisturizer that is in your skin. It is common, a commonly used humectant ingredient to help attract water to keep the skin lipids between the skin cells in a healthy state. Sodium hyaluronate acid is derived from hyaluronic acid and can penetrate the top layer of the skin and improve hydration from the underlying skin layers. It attracts moisture and it reduces inflammation and it can even help to minimize irritation. This sunscreen feels like a moisturizing cream. It does not take a lot of effort to blend in like some uh, untinted mineral sunscreens. I like to apply a quarter teaspoon to my whole face in layers to achieve the stated SPF. It leaves a glowy, shiny finish, which can be a personal preference in terms of that being a good thing or a bad thing. It doesn't bother me. And when I want to tone down the shine of any sunscreen, I can easily do that with a tinted powder. Now, initially there is a white cast like most, if not all untinted sunscreens, but it quickly settles down on my skin and it doesn't leave much of a white cast. And when it's a day I plan to wear makeup over my sunscreen, lately, this is one of my go-tos. Now, if you don't like any amount of white cast caused by mineral sunscreen, a great solution is to follow it up with a foundation, BB cream, CC cream, or just go with a tinted sunscreen. An added benefit of including a tinted product, whether it be makeup or a tinted sunscreen, is the iron oxides, which is what gives it that tint or color. Iron oxides provide protection from the shorter wavelengths of visible light. And there are studies that show the impact of visible light on the pathogenesis of melasma, making it appear worse, which support the recommendation behind the protective properties of iron oxides 
for melasma. Now the Muesli Day Cream Mineral Tinted version is SPF 30. This is the full three ounce size and it is made up of 7% zinc oxide and 7% titanium dioxide. It is what I am wearing now while shooting this video along with some spot concealer and powder. Now look how smoothly this goes on. Uh, this comes in one shade so it may not work well for all skin tones but overall it is a universal shade and again this one settles in and this tint leaves no white cast on my skin. Now, this also includes the occlusive and humectic ingredients to make it a good moisturizing product. Both of these sunscreens work well for reapplication every couple of hours. It does not look like I have excessive layers of sunscreen on my face by late afternoon. And again, I can easily apply a little powder if I feel the need to tone down any shine. And I'm pretty sure I have shown this in a previous video, but for years, my powder of choice is one by Jane Iredell. Now, all of her powders are good, I have always, but I've always gravitated toward this one. It is called the Pure Press base mineral foundation and I wear the shade amber. Now I just repurchased a new refill for this old compact which I have had for years and I'll put the link for this along with the sunscreen links in the description box below. Oh and these sunscreens are water resistant so in addition to being a solid everyday moisturizing sunscreen choice you can also feel confident uh, using them when doing an outdoor activity or when out in excessive heat. Well I hope you found this video informative. You know there are many moisturizing sunscreens screens available. Look for additional ingredients like ceramides, hyaluronic acid, squalane, aloe, vitamin E, to name a few. Uh, most descriptions for moisturizing sunscreens will feature their moisturizing ingredients. Comment below with some of your uh, favorite sunscreen recommendations. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with anyone who may benefit. Thank you to my current subscribers for your continued support, and I wish everyone good health, and thank you for taking the time to invest in your face. Bye.